What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you five creative video ideas using the Insta360 GO 2 camera. If you're not familiar with the Insta360 GO 2, it's basically a tiny waterproof action camera that can be worn or mounted anywhere to create hand-free shots. Now I have used the original version of the Insta360 GO in the past, but unfortunately I lost it while snowboarding in the Swiss Alps. So it's very hard to find a tiny tiny camera, especially if it's wide and buried under the snow. Luckily, a couple of weeks later, Insta360 released a new version, the Insta360 GO 2. I knew that I had to get one because I use it a lot for capturing behind the scenes for my filmmaking tutorials here on YouTube. Of course, that is one way of using the Insta360 GO 2. The possibilities are almost endless of how you can use this tiny action camera, and that is what I want to show you in this video. The Insta360 GO 2 was sent to me, but I actually reached out to them so that I could make this video for you guys. Also make sure to stick around till the end of this video as I will be announcing the winner of the 50K giveaway. Now, before we start, let me first show you the camera settings I use for most shooting scenarios that give me the best quality possible with the Insta360 GO 2. So make sure to use the pro video mode. This will allow you to manipulate your footage uh, in the app of the Insta360. Next is to set your resolution to 1440p, which is the highest resolution possible you can capture with this camera. The frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the five creative video ideas using the Insta360 GO 2 camera. Number one is the overhead shot. Overhead videos are useful for showing detail. It gives the viewer a bird's eye perspective and is a great way to increase visual interest. For example, cooking videos look great from a top-down perspective, and since the Insta360 GO 2 is magnetic, I can easily attach it on a metal surface. With one press of a button, I can start recording the video and later on use it for B-roll or post it directly onto social media. Number two is POV or point of view shot. The most popular way to use the tiny action cam is to mount it on yourself to get a first person view perspective. Like I said previously, I use it a lot for capturing behind the scenes, but you can take it a bit further and use it on objects. For example, putting it in a glass or mounting it on a watering can or placing it in a grill, use the POV shot to add a unique perspective to your videos. This is also great for capturing the subject's reaction. For example, you have a shot of a character looking at something and then you would cut to a POV shot where you can see the reaction of the character. Number three is to create a hyperlapse effect. I love bananas. As you can see in this example, I wanted to create a fun video where I took out a banana, ate it and throw it in the trash can. To create this simple effect, I first set up the camera to have a point of view perspective. Then I recorded the first shot in normal speed. The camera settings I used are the ones mentioned at the beginning. For this shot, I recorded myself eating the banana. The second shot I used for recording myself walking towards the trash can, but this time recording the video in time-lapse mode. Important is to be in the same position so that the first shot matches with the second shot. And once I reached it, I stopped the time lapse and recorded in normal speed again to then throw the banana peel into the trash can. In post, you can simply add the three shots together and you have a fun little video that you can upload onto your social media. Number four is match cut. As you can see, this technique is great for creating continuity in your shot. To create a match cut from one shot to another, just simply have the composition of the two shots match. Again, set up the Insta360 GO 2 for a POV perspective. 
Then record each shot in a different location, but with the same action. It could be snapping your fingers, jumping, or falling forward. Important is that both shots have the same action. This way the transition will look more seamless. In post, I simply edit the shots together and you have a nice match cut. Number five is creating a fake FPV drone shot. To create this effect, you will need to mount the Insta360 GO 2 onto a selfie stick. This allows the camera to move slightly above ground. The camera settings I used are the ones mentioned at the beginning of the video. When doing the fake FPV drone shot, it's best to move fast to make it look more natural. In this case, running or walking fast would work well. By using 30 frames per second and having the camera close to the ground while moving fast forward will naturally create a motion blur in your video. Once you're finished, you will have to edit the video using the Insta360 app since the normal video does not yet look like a fake FPV drone shot. Open up the app and select the clip you want to edit. First, change the field of view to linear. This will help create a fast moving speed in your video. Next is to change the rotation by setting keyframes. This will add more movement to the shot. Set a keyframe and change the rotation slightly. Move a couple of seconds forward in the timeline to change the rotation angle value. Now you can set keyframes throughout the timeline to add movements to your shot. I recommend not overdoing it too much. Next is to change the perspective. By long pressing on the screen, you can change the framing. I recommend changing both the rotation and perspective. Once you're done, export the video and you have a fake FPV drone shot. I hope these techniques were helpful and gave you a good idea of how you can use the Insta360 GO 2 to make your videos more engaging. Now, before I end this video, I would like to announce the winner of the 50K giveaway. Who is? Alia Kanem. Alia Kanem, congratulations. You won the 50K giveaway. And this is what she wrote. Winning this giveaway would assure me the video stability and sound quality that I'm missing in my current videos. I have so many cinematic shot ideas for future videos and the gimbal and the slypod will be a huge game changer in my efforts for consistent, crisp quality content and production. Best of luck to all participants. No matter who wins, it will be a win for all of us supporting Bennett. Thank you. Alia, you deserve the giveaway. Congratulations. You won the Smooth Q3 Gimbal, the Slypod E by Moza, the Rode Vlogger Kit, and the Anamorphic Lens by Sandmark. Hopefully you will make good use of the gear. Again, I want to thank all of the sponsors for making this giveaway possible. And I want to thank especially you guys for participating in the giveaway and for supporting this channel. Now your comments were all amazing, but unfortunately it's just not possible to let everybody win something. But hopefully you can be the lucky one in the next giveaway once I reach 100,000 subscribers. That giveaway will be awesome. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome videos for you guys. Follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.